right, here we go. Episode 4 of our Descent Legends in the Dark series. We're going to be painting Bryn, Bryn, whatever her name is. Uh, she is the Human Avenger. Uh, pretty simple. This is going to be probably the easiest one we've done so far. Nothing crazy here. Um, this, this is your first time at the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up, hit that like. Come on, we're going to be doing miniatures. I plan on doing this for years. Knock on wood, as I just did. But without further ado, enjoy the painting and let's go. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be scraping off all those nasty mold lines and the arm of my Avenger had fallen off. So I had to re-glue that on it as I cut all the sound out, but I said about 50 uh, profanities in about 2.8 seconds. After that, we're going to mount on some sticky tack and we're going to prime this thing. I'm using an airbrush. You don't have to use an airbrush, but it looks a lot better, I think, when you're priming with an airbrush because you can control it a lot easier. We're going to use some black primer from Vallejo. We're going to spray that entire thing. And then we're going to use a zenithal highlighting of white primer from Vallejo. Again, if you don't have this, just use some spray can, spray it all over with some black and then some white from above and kind of get some emphasis of the white on the shield and on the face of our miniature, kind of like where the sun would hit. We're gonna paint is we're gonna be painting some of the base and we're gonna use some basilicanum gray on those stones. It's gonna look kind of blackish, but that's where this zenithal highlighting comes in. It's gonna give it a natural highlight with literally doing no work. On this channel, we're all about making it easier on ourselves. Next, we're gonna hit those rocks up with some Griff Charger Gray, and they're a little bit hard to differentiate between the demon, or as I classified it, and what I looked at as a demon flying bat thing of nastiness um, with some Griff Charger Gray, and just follow along with what I'm doing. We're gonna hit those rocks up, but again, already naturally highlighted. We've already done all the hard work. It's awesome. And for our demon that I assume we cut in half, cut the dang wings off of it, whatever we did with it, we crushed this thing because we are looking awesome. I love I love this miniature. I love all these miniatures. This, they did a great job. Fancy Flight did a great job. No, I'm not sponsored by them. No, they didn't pay me to say that. I just give credit where credit is due and they did a great job on this. Um, so just be a little careful. You got a hand that was chopped off the wing and then obviously the body that our Avenger is stepping on over in triumph. And it should look something like this. Next, we're going to take a little bit of Wild Rider Red, and I am using a wet palette as I always do. Make sure our paints are thin. You want a skim milk consistency when we are painting. Don't put too much onto your brush. And we're going to get some of those hands and some of the face, some of the edges of our wing, because as we did our zenithal highlighting and we're using some of that contrast paint from Citadel, it really already has some nitrile highlights on it that already look good. But we're just going to bump it up just a little bit just to give it that little nice little second eye look when people are looking at it. It's thinking you're so, you're so cool because it's awesome and you did a great job. And finally for our base, a little added touch. We're going to put some Steel Legion Drab in the cracks. Use a small brush. I'm using... Uh, size one or size zero brush and if you get some onto the black that's fine hey eh? it's dirty nasty stone it's what it's supposed to look like so don't don't get too over crazy about it Next, let's start on the base colors for our miniature. And the first one we're gonna do is a kiss live flesh on the skin, which is basically her face 
in her neck. That's it. For the hair, we're going to be using the Doom Bowl Brown. And of course, again, make sure we're thinning our paints because you can already see the naturally highlighted dark and light as we're painting these things in. And it just makes it so much easier to do our highlights at the end. Next are the two most tedious parts of this miniature because there's not very many colors on this miniature, just very simple tones. And when I was thinking of what to do, I was like, mm, it's not really metal in the card art, but let's let's dull it down so it looks like not a metal. So you'll see what we're doing here. So we're gonna put this Screaming Bell, which is a metallic copper looking paint from Citadel, and we're gonna put it on all of the areas that are on the miniature showing that copper look. And then as we put the wash on later in the video and it really doles it down, you can't even really tell that it is a metallic paint. So just have a little bit of a leap of a faith and trust me on this one and just follow along with what I'm doing. The second most tedious part on this is going to be the brown because that is a vast majority of our miniature and we're going to be using some steel legion drab. Again, just follow along with what I'm doing. If you make a mistake, go back, paint over it. This is going to take a little bit of time, but once we get that wash on and we just do a little bit of highlighting, you're going to be done. This is probably the most minimal amount of highlights I've done on a miniature thus far in the series and some of the other series I've done. So just follow along. Enjoy the paint. I'm listening to a little, uh, what am I listening to? You know, I'm listening to a little, uh, Armin Van Buren right now, his, uh, 1034 podcast. So, yeah. With the two worst parts done on this miniature, we're gonna take care of some of that sash and we're gonna use some Thunderhawk blue. Just kind of like a gray blue.
For some of our leather pieces, we're going to be using some Rhinox hide, the belt, and some areas that are falling down. Again, just uh, follow along with what I'm doing. And after you're done uh, painting all this little area, if you got a second, head over to our Instagram, nerd.nights, and uh, you can follow us on there and so you can see what we're posting and when new videos are coming out. We're going to go back to our Still Legion Well Drab. Still, Still Legion Well Drab. Still Legion Drab Well. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to edit that out because I want to see how, how uh, crappy I am at talking off the cusp. And we're going to paint some of this uh, parts in the front just to kind of make it uniform. Next, we're going to use some Grey Knight Steel on our sword. And that's going to match the card art, I think, as good as we can get it. And that's all of our base colors thus far. So if you need to pause it, pause it here and kind of go over what you need to do. Next, we are going to start our washes, and the first thing we're going to do is our face, which is a Reiklin flush shade, and that's it. Really simple on that one. For the vast majority of this miniature is going to be one wash, and that is Agrax Earth Shade, which is a fantastic product. I love it so much. And we're going to be using this on all of our copper and brown portions of the miniature. Um, we're only going to be using uh, two other washes after this. One's a contrast, one's a uh, Nolan Oil. But just to hit all the brown areas on this, don't be afraid to clop that on there and just make it look, look, make it look very washy. For our sword, we're going to do a nice little bit of Nolan Oil on it. And for our blue sash, we're going to use some Athrobatic Blue. This is kind of optional. If you don't have this color, it's not a big deal. It just kind of adds some of that blue-green to it. Very subtle. Coming down the home stretch, we're going to take some Corax White and we're going to make our eyeball. I could not see that left one, that hair's covered. I didn't even mess with it. You can't even really see it. It's not that big of a deal. So once you get your uh, white eyeball in there, we want to take some Lotharian Blue. We're going to be using this here in a minute anyway, so get a nice glob onto your wet palette or your well, whatever you're using, or a piece of tile. And put a little bit of circle inside that white for our back part of our pupil. And very carefully take some Abaddon Black and put it right in the middle of that blue. Starting with the skin, we're going to take some pure Kiss of the Flesh. We're going to hit the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, the chin. A little bit of the chest that's popping out underneath the neck area. Next, we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Kiss of Flesh and Flayed One Flesh. And again, hitting the same areas, you're going to start seeing those highlights being built up. Now 
And finally, to match the pale skin cone of our miniature, we're going to be using some pure Flayed One flesh. It's almost like she's seen a ghost or something, or she's just so battle-hardened, or she hasn't seen the sun. She needs some vitamin D in her life. To highlight up our brown areas, we are not going to be using the same color we use as our base tone. We're going to be using a little bit of Baylor Brown, and this is going to bring up our brown just enough to match the card art and make it look very nice without doing too much to it. Next, we're going to take some of the Gorthor Brown, and we are going to put this on some of our Rhinox High looking areas that we hit over earlier, just to make it a little bit more dull brown instead of that dark woodland brown. To highlight up our hair just a tad bit, we're going to take some scrag brown and put it on some of the streaks that you can pick out from the hair. That's why I like these miniatures so much because they put so much detail into the hair and just little areas that it makes it stand out so much more because you can pick out those little areas where if it's a crappy miniature and it's just kind of a blob, it's harder to put those on there. Next, we're going to take some Lotharn Blue, like I mentioned earlier, and we're going to start highlighting up some of our raised areas on our little blue skirt or whatever it is here. Then we're going to mix 50-50 of Cordax White and Lotharn Blue, and we're going to just do this very subtly on the, if you're looking at the right-hand side and portions of the miniature that are sticking up, just to give it that nice little blue, mid-tone blue, light blue. And for a little fun, some of our dark leather areas that we hit earlier, we're going to take some Doom Bowl Brown. Mm -hmm. And we're going to hit those areas up. And your favorite part of the painting series, the end. I'm painting my rim black. You can paint it whatever you want, gray, but whatever. And that's it. Look how good you did. That wasn't bad. You gotta admit, leave me a comment below. It wasn't that bad. It could have been a lot worse. Like we could have added other stuff, but hey, it looks fantastic for the, I'd say minimal amount of work we did. But hey, thank you for watching. I can't thank you guys enough. Everybody who watched this is on a weekly basis or who looks forward to it. Leave me a comment below. Uh, it's your first time watching. Hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate everybody watching. All right, until next time, paint on.